what is up you guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about google's assumptions about me that came out very mumbly but <laughs> basically as we all know i hope um internet companies collect a lot of data about us and because i'm interested in data and how it's being used um obviously this is very interesting to me and if you didn't know this it must be really uncomfortable living under that rock just kidding sort of so obviously google is the biggest provider for internet services and they collect a lot of data about how you use their products and services and there's actually a website that tells you exactly what assumptions Google has made about you and we're going to be looking at what assumptions Google has made about me and your ads are personalized based on the assumptions that they've made so if you keep seeing the same ads um ads for sites that you've just visited or whatever it's because of these assumptions um that google has made so i have two accounts i'm going to be looking at both and so the first one of them is my personal account and i think at some point in time i have gone and looked at the assumptions on that account it's the account that i mostly use for browsing and then i have my account that is linked to this youtube channel and most of that activity is actually just YouTube. I don't really browse on that particular Google account so it'll be interesting if there's any kind of a difference between the two and that account's assumptions I've never even looked at. It's it's new enough for that like I've only had it for a year so you know what? Let's check out what Google knows about me. If you want to go and see what assumptions have been made about you, I'll put the link in the description box and I'd love to hear if you actually go and check what assumptions Google has made about you and if there's anything that surprises you, leave that in the comments, I'd love to hear. The website that I'm talking about is adsettings.google.com, um, link in the description, but that's that's what it is. As it says, it's for ad personalization and it can really says Google makes your ads more useful on Google services based on the assumptions that they make. And you can turn the ad personalization off actually if you want to, but we're not gonna go into that. We are going to look at how my ads are personalized based on personal info that is collected from different sources. So let's see, am I a 25 to 34 year old female? Yes, I am. That is correct. I'd be a little worried if Google got this one wrong. Language. English and one more. English and Finnish. I mean, true. Finnish is my native and, and most of the services that I do use on Google, however, are in English. Neonica? What is it? This advertiser shows you ads based on your visit to the advertiser's website or app. I don't know what Neonica is. Let's see what Neonica is. Oh, <laughs> yes. I looked at lead strips at some point and they're a manufacturer or seller of lead strips. So, okay, Google, I see you. I see you. Um, IBAT College. So IBAT College is a college in Dublin. Um, I looked at their website based on their ad at some point um, just because I'm generally interested in furthering my education in some way or the other. And, you know, I was curious. Udacity as well. I literally think clicked on their ad yesterday, so Google, you fast. Um, I'm interested in Google. <laughs> yes, I'm interested in Google as a service. I'm not sure what mpb.com is though. Let's see, what is mpb? Photo and video, shoot the sequel, what is this? Photo and video. Oh, they sell video equipment. Okay, yeah, it could be that I've visited their site or that I've Googled um, MPB instead of MBP, which is like MacBook Pro because I just got mine, so <laughs> there's a chance of that. Um, um, Harvey Norman is an electronic store, if you don't know, um, in UK and Ireland. And yeah, I, I definitely visited their site. Um, boots. But yeah, I visited their site for cosmetics. Neonica, I think it's the same one as we already saw. Bank of Ireland. I was with Bank of Ireland. Am I with Bank of Ireland anymore? No, I'm not with Bank of Ireland anymore. KBC, baby, KBC. Audible, yes. I love me some Audible. Um, audiobooks are so great. Um, Gymshark, yes, please. Their leggings are bomb. Um, elegant themes. I have looked at um, their site for a potential blog site because I'd love to have a website for um, young female in tech, but I haven't gotten to that yet. And so I'm 
currently researching um, if I should do it with WordPress and some kind of a theme builder or if I'm too lazy because I've, you know, I've, I've tried WordPress sites before. Ah, and the learning curve is kind of steep, especially if you're in the EU um, with all the plugins and everything. Declaring how you use data on your site and how all the plugins you use on your site use data is such a pain in the ass, and so that's why I'm kind of debating whether to do it on another kind of a site, but that's that's why Elegant Themes shows up in here. DataQuest Labs. Um, DataCamp and DataQuest are great resources for learning about um, data science and, and data analytics, so yeah. Data Quest Labs score. Um, same as Coursera. I use Coursera a lot. Action and adventure films. Oh, it's probably based on what I've watched on like YouTube movies. I think I watched In Time recently. It's one of it's it's a little weird to admit, but it is one of my favorite movies. Not necessarily because it's particularly well made or because of Justin Timberlake in it. It just has a very interesting narrative around how time has become the ultimate currency and in my opinion time actually is the ultimate currency so that's why I like it. But if you haven't seen it, watch it and tell me what you think. Apparel, Apple iOS, I mean not very interesting, arts and entertainment, audio equipment, yada yada. Bars, clubs, and nightlife. Aren't we all interested in this at this point? It's been a year since any of this has happened so yeah we'd all be interested, that'd be great. Uh, Beaches and islands. Who doesn't? Who, who isn't? Okay. Business and productivity software. Abso-freaking-lutely. Productivity especially. I do spend quite a lot of time finding a great way to organize myself. I'm a little bit of a freak in that sense. So yeah. Books and literature. Yes. Business education. Sort of. I already have some, but I know I've been looking at some more. Camcorders. Camera equipment. Camera lenses. Cameras. Yes. Yes, <laughs> I like cameras. Candy and sweets. <laughs> yes, I have a sugar tooth. Okay, okay, I like candy. Um, I may have been telling myself for the past two weeks that no, you are not going to spend 70 euros on ordering finished candy online, but I'm like, in what world, in a normal situation, would I go and spend 70 euros on candy? So I'm, I'm trying not to. I still might but I'm trying not to. Car rentals. I'm really not interested in car rentals because I haven't been driving a car in two years. And I live in a country where I don't know how to drive. Like some of the rules are different. They drive on the wrong side of the road. Sue me, but they do. I, uh, yeah, I'd be dead terrified of driving here. No, China. I don't, have I looked at anything that has to do with China? I don't, I feel like I haven't. Why is this? Based on your activity on Google services while you were signed in. I don't know. Maybe I've watched something on YouTube about China. I don't know. Could be. Oh, maybe. This might be it. Um, I did download an app called Hello Chinese because I wanted to see about learning Chinese possibly. Um, I've done a little bit of it, but maybe that's it because um, it's obviously from Google's app store. Google, I'm on to you. Charity and philanthropy. Um, yeah, I, I do like giving money to charity. Classical music. Sure. Cloud storage. I pay for storage for sure. <laughs> coffee and tea. Coffee for like apps of freaking lootly. I don't know how they know this, um, but yeah, I drink a lot of coffee. No joke. Uh, combat sports. Combat sports. Have I googled jujitsu after I watched like Joe Rogan? Maybe? Comedy films? Yes. Uh, comics? Definitely. Uh, who doesn't, who doesn't need a laugh right now? <laughs> like, hello 2021, you're not you're not that much better than 2020 so far. Commercial properties, I don't know. Ooh, I've probably googled some of the new builds um, and rentals that they have in Dublin just because they have such cute apartments. They're so expensive though. But you know, a girl can dream and drool and like hope that one day it would be reasonable for me to pay like 2,500 for myself to live in a one bed and one bath, but that day has not come yet. Um, company size. A large employer, that is very true. Competitive video gaming though. Uh, not one bit. I don't play video games other than Monopoly on my phone, against my phone. So no, I wouldn't say that. Computer and video games, really not. Computer education, however, yes. 
the component hardware peripherals and memory are probably because I've been googling about those because of the computer science education that I'm, you know, trying to get. Or maybe it's because I've been googling laptops. That could be it too. Coupons and discount offers. I'm sorry, but who doesn't google a discount code whenever they're buying from somewhere? I haven't installed Honey or anything like that on my browser yet. If you are using Honey or any of the discount code searching thingies, like, do let me know how you find it. Is it worth it? Let me know. Customer services, uh, data management. Mm, yes, yes, best field. Education status, oh, these are actual assumptions about like me and not just what I've been Googling and like my interests. Cause I feel like they kind of put these into different categories based on like, okay, this is about you. And then like what you're interested in, um, education status, bachelor's degree is correct. Um, and my location is Dublin. <laughs> Executive management jobs, sure. Headhunters call me. Just kidding, sort of. Fashion, style, fitness. I mean, these are kind of basic. Ho hockey. I don't watch sports. Somebody asked me because I shared someone else's story on Instagram where they were watching football, but it wasn't about the football. And people started asking me like, oh, what's your favorite football team? And like, well, like who's your favorite player? And I'm like, I, this, it, I shared someone else's story of them watching football. I don't watch football. I don't watch any sports except for CrossFit games once a year. Sorry for those that watch sports. I just don't care. Home ownership status. That's actually about me. Yeah, I am a renter. Human resources. Let's not get hater involved in this. I am in Ireland. Um, good job. Ooh, job industry. Let's see what they think we're at. Well, they got one right. The technology industry bit. I'm not in healthcare industry. I don't know why they think that. Tech is correct. Marital status, single. True. Mail and package delivery. Yeah, I've been Googling DPD because the frickers lost my package. I've had two packages lost in transit during this year and the latest one is kind of expensive. So yeah, I've been Googling, I've been Googling DPD to get in touch with their customer service. What else? A lot of this is kind of really basic. Moving and relocation. Well, I mean, I have relocated to a different country to work, so that is probably something that I've looked at at one point or the other. Office and computer desks. Well, who isn't currently? Because we have to have a home office. Uh, online video. Well, I am putting things on YouTube, so... Yeah, what else? Oh, parental status, not a parent. Yeah, that's true and probably will stay that way. School supplies and classroom equipment. Do I like stationery? Yes, I like stationery. Rest, oh, <laughs> completely pants by restaurant delivery services. Yes, I am a, a frequent orderer of delivery food. Scripting languages. Sequel. I don't know why I'm this weird today. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a Sunday, you know? spreadsheet software. I mean, I do use Google Sheets a lot, so I guess. Statistics. Yeah. Tennis. I miss tennis so much. Actually, um, my tennis racket is still at the office of my last employer because I can't go in and get it. They're not allowing people to do that, so I hope that one day I'll get it back because it's not like tennis rackets are really cheap. I probably paid like a hundred bucks on for that, so um, I'd love to get it back, but yeah, so I do play tennis. Training and certification. Yes, I do a lot of online courses. TV, 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 TV. I mean, we're, we're all on Netflix. Like, you don't Google, you don't need to, like, rub it in our faces. Oh, video sharing. Um, am I on YouTube or am I on YouTube? Video software, same. What else? Windows operating system. Well, the only things that I Googled about Windows were one for, I think, for the first month or so in my current job. I had a Windows laptop. I couldn't use it because I'm like... I've been on Mac for too long. I'm like, I don't know how to do things on Windows anymore. Women's interests. I don't even, what does Google classify as women's interests? Hair? I mean, I'm a woman. Women's interests are of interest to me, but I don't know what women's interests mean. And I did tell you that I've probably seen these before. And so clearly I've turned some of these off when I last did see them. Barbecue and grilling and beef. Well, I mean, I'm not interested in barbecue and grilling. Where the heck am I going to barbecue or grill in the middle of Dublin? But yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not particularly interested in beef. Boating. 
I don't know why particularly that was what I turned off, but I don't, yeah, I'm not interested in it. Um, nor in skiing or snowboarding, uh, which for anybody who's always like, oh, but you're from Finland. I'm like, yeah, not all of us ski. Finland's a great country, but like winter and winter sports, pass. And parenting. Yeah, like, man, at some point I kept getting a ton of YouTube ads about like pregnancy tests. And I'm like, dude, this is like, no. E we're no. So yeah, that was my personal account. But I do want to go and see if there's any difference in my um, account that is connected to this YouTube channel. Just because, I mean, why not? I only look at YouTube really with this particular account and I use some of the like um, Google Drive services. So um, I'm curious if this is something that's different. So let's do it. Age and gen gender is still correct um, and languages too. Um, so that's the same. But this does look a little different. Um, Irish tax rebates. Yes, I was looking at doing my taxes a couple of months ago, so that is correct. Um, accounting and financial software. I have YNAB, which is you need a budget. If you don't know, it's a, it's a budgeting software. Boating. I don't know. <laughs> what is it with boats? Boats! Boats! No, I'm not interested in boating. Bollywood films? I don't know if I've seen any Bollywood films. I've watched an interview with Priyanka Chopra. Is that it? Um, I also have YouTube Premium on this account, so I actually don't see the ads. So that's also why I don't really... I probably haven't clicked on as many ads as I have on my personal account. Um, cool, well, it's books and literature for sure. Again, career resources and planning, yes celebrities and entertainments like I don't like gossip news like I don't care I don't know why this is here maybe I've watched like a video about something on YouTube and they're like ah you like you like a little you like a little goss uh, cycling I don't remember the last time I was on a bike Ooh, job industry two factors is it the same no I don't know why they think I'm in a healthcare industry because I I'm not in this case they're not even getting the technology industry correct financial industry I'm not in financial industry either um google what are you doing? A luxury goods. I own none. Married also in a relationship. Interesting. I wonder how this is this is coming up. I don't know. But it's different than my, my personal account. Parenting. Why does it automatically think I'm interested in parenting? A retirement and pension. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I switched jobs and now I need to switch my pension plans because there are private ones in this country. And oh, I just hate the bureaucratic process of this. I can't that's annoying. Again, skiing and snowboarding. Really not interested. Skin and nail care. Skin care, for sure. Nails, not so much. A lot of this is kind of similar to what we had before. It is a little bit different. Um, marital status is different. And it got, it didn't get my, it didn't get my job industry right. So this is what Google assumes about me. If you, if you want to, you can go ahead and you can turn off the particular interest um so if you keep seeing something that's really annoying and like doesn't interest you at all check this page you can also turn off the entire personalization of ads i don't really care because sometimes sometimes you find something that you want i hope you found this interesting let me know in the comments if you do end up going on this page and seeing for yourself what google thinks about you if you like this video you know where the thumbs up button is, um, click it so that more people can find this video. If you would like content like this in the future, do subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.